Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? Hey. Guess who's on his way in? What, Davidoff? He just called the office. Arrange him a lunch, he says. He treats the office staff like his uh, uh, personal assistants. He shouldn't be a drain on our resources. Look, I'll, I'll talk to him. Can you let the garage staff know he'll be wandering around down there and make sure we have the usual room set up for him? Yeah, no problem. Roll out the red carpet. Davidoff's in town. Last I heard he was joining us in Singapore, but today he just shows up. Don't let him get to you like this. We'll handle him. <sighs> Remind me why I went into business with him. At least you have an F1 team. For now. Look, he wants us to succeed. Doesn't always feel like it, Cass. Huh. I'll see you in the meeting. Hmm. Yeah. Kelly. People are saying Dad's heading in. He is, yeah. I thought he wasn't around this weekend. <laughs> well, so did we. Um, listen, I heard what happened in the garage. Oh, yeah. Look, please don't worry about that. It got a bit heated, but it's fine. I can't have that behavior on the team. I'm giving the guy a warning. Oh, uh, is that necessary? Well, it's not okay to talk about your own drivers like that. Right. Well... You're the boss. Yeah. See you in the meeting. See you there. Could you take a look at this, please? Everything else looks fine. It's just about that rear wing. I don't want to sacrifice any more downforce. It's okay, it's your call. Now, let's uh, check the weather again in an hour. Oi, oi! <laughs> Did you miss me? Hello, sis. Hi, bro. Jackson. Devon. How are you, Devon? I am excited. Very excited to be involved again. Now, you, you pretend I'm not here, you carry on, please. Involved? How? Oh, you know, just a little bit of this, a little bit of... Uh... Involved? How? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Huh. And what does Andreo say to that? He'll agree, Casper. It's fine. Were they pleased to see you? People are always pleased to see me. And what was your new role? Uh, I guess you might call me a liaison. Yeah, I just, I love to liaise. Dad wanted me to talk to people, keep people's spirits up, give some friendly words of advice, that kind of thing. But, uh, it was tough. Yeah, Aiden still had that ego. Still thought he was too good for the team. 
wouldn't listen to Casper's advice. That was a problem. And then Andreo, he was worried about the future of the team. He had dad breathing down his neck. And Callie, well, let's just say Callie wasn't really looking for my advice. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, honestly, I'd only been gone five minutes. Connor Sport teammates not exactly doing each other any favours this afternoon. For me, they're a little bit too close for comfort. What is Aiden playing at? Tell him to back off. OK, Kelly, he knows. Clearly he doesn't know. <sighs> yeah, same old stuff. Jackson really wants to make a move out there, but Mayer, no chance. Not letting him pass. Towards the curve of Grande we go. He's going for it. It's really close. It's too close. There goes Mayer's front wing. Oh, Aiden Jackson, what happened there? This now seems like a running theme at Connor Sports. Yes, this race is critical for them. When are they going to just pull themselves together? OK, box please, Kelly. Let's get that wing replaced. <sighs> this is a joke. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, copy. That was a fantastic stop, faster than we were expecting. Up to speed now, let's get some heat into those tyres.
manoeuvre. You made it look so easy. Five laps of fuel remaining, five laps of fuel left. seconds.
Okay, pick up Murphy. Yeah. So they have managed to pull it back at the end. But if this continues, Connor Sports are in real danger of sabotaging their own chances of a decent finish this season. There is so much talent in that team, and yet they're their own worst enemy. The reason they're not making progress is each other. Ridiculous state of affairs. And it's clear that Jackson continues to be the aggressor. Is it personal, Natalie? Well, you know, it does seem that way from the outside looking in, but... All I know is they just can't go on like this. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Now, once again, another eventful race out there today for Connor Sport, Kelly. Is the team sabotaging its own chance of a decent finish this season? I think that's a fair assessment right now, yeah. Um, it's always tough out there, but if we can't sort out the problems within the team itself, they're going to struggle. Everyone is talking about Devon's return to Connor Sport today. So is it good to have him back around again? <laughs> I mean, never tell him I said this, but uh, I don't mind having him around. Um, he's the most infuriating person I've ever met, but he knows the sport as well as anyone, and it'll be good to have his input. Tell us, if you can, about this rumour circulating about a rift between you and your father, Davidoff. Well, sorry to disappoint, but no, that's not true. He really cares about the team and he wants me to do well. Um, it may be fun to say that there's a rift in Connor Sport, especially when there's family involved, but it's just simply not the case. Now, Callie, you previously said you might not be here if it wasn't for your father. Do you still stand by that? Look, for the last time, it's really not a big deal. If you have a contact somewhere, it helps your prospects. That's just life, and that's all there is to it. That's great. Thank you. Go on then, let's have it. That's no way to answer the phone. Say your piece, mother dearest. Fine, if you want to be like that. I did say you need to be careful what you tell the media about your father, didn't I? That was the perfect opportunity today, to smooth it all over. But no, you only reinforced what everyone's already saying about you. That's just how I feel. Oh, <sighs> I... You've got a stubborn streak in you. I think it comes from your father. Definitely not mine. He was always so determined. Unable to admit to his mistakes. What's your point, Mum? My point is that nobody likes your father. <sighs> Sorry. Just be careful, Cal. Yeah. 
Thanks, Mum. I'll let you go, darling. Ciao. Casper. Hey, Kelly. I just, I just wanted to apologize. What? Why? Well, I, I said I would keep your father away from you, and here you are in the media answering all these questions about him all the time. <sighs> it's fine, Cass. They were always going to ask me that stuff. Yeah, I know. But, uh, you know, thanks for bending the truth a little out there. It does show the team in a better light. <laughs> I've got no issues lying about something that's none of their business. I'm just sorry that you had to. Don't worry about it, Cass. It's no big deal. Yeah, but it is to me. So, thank you, Kelly. 